Hello, today I would like to show you how to do well on your section 4 from IELTS. So from this link part. So here we have uh, the spirit beer. This is from IELTS 10 section 4 and now I want to show you it how uh, how easy it is in reality because all you have to know is a hard vocabulary and a pretty good grammar and then you can find VZs. You know, there's no worry about it. So now I'm going to play the video and now uh, I'll try to answer its questions. What we have to know that this is a gap filling. This one is called gap filling as you can see and I print that out now. And uh, we can find it with is but uh, we have to f know the keywords and follow the instruction. It is the spirit beer. Alright, so let's play the video. Today, we continue our series on ecology and conservation with a look at a particularly endangered member of the black bear family. One in ten black bears is actually born with a white coat, which is the result of a special gene that surfaces in a few. Local people have named it the spirit bear, and according to the legends of these communities, its snowy fur brings with it a special power. Because of this, it has always been highly regarded by them, so much that they do not speak of seeing it to anyone else. It is their way of protecting it when strangers visit the area. The white bear's habitat is quite interesting. As you can see, for every part, I'm trying to find a, a relatively synonyms for this. Instead of uncommon, they said unique. Instead of unusual, it says special. Instead of like, uh, they use protect from weird from strangers. Here I got the keywords and follow them. Disease. So, when you are following the instructions, please be careful and focus hardly. Uh, uh, focus, sorry about the focus hard, otherwise, you may lose your focus. And uh, now we have a habitat threat and uh, habitat threat and going forward. So I follow the instructions and uh, this says root three root stop and then uh, small numbers of something like this. So okay I'm going to play again and uh, I'll stop after the fifth, uh, 35th one and I'll explain again a little bit into detail. The bear's strong relationship with the old growth rainforest is a complex one. The white bear relies on the huge centuries-old trees in the forest in many ways. For example, the old growth trees have extremely long roots that help prevent erosion of the soil along the banks of the many fish streams. Keeping these banks intact is important because these streams are home to salmon, which are the bear's main food source. In return, the bear's feeding habits nurture the forest. As the bears eat the salmon, they discard the skin and bones in great amounts on the forest floor, which provide vital nutrients. These produce lush vegetation that sustains thousands of other types of life forms, from birds to insects and more. Today, the spirit bear lives off the coast of the province of British Columbia on a few islands. There is great concern for their survival since it... So here as you can see, uh, instead of uh, stop, it said prevent, prevent. And here instead of small number, it said few. So as I mentioned that you have to know the, f uh, you have to know the synonyms pretty much well because otherwise you may have a hard time to understand what they're talking about. And now I'll play the video and I'll answer 30, 36, 37, 38 and then I'll again pause the video for you, alright. It is estimated that less than 200 of these white bears remain. The best way to protect them is to make every effort to preserve the delicate balance of their forest environment. In other words, their ecosystem. The greatest threat to the bear's existence is the loss of its habitat. Over many years, logging companies have stripped the land by cutting down a large number of trees. In addition, 
They have built roads which have fractured the areas where the bear usually feeds, and many hibernation sites have also been lost. The logging of the trees along the streams has damaged the places where the bears fish. To make matters worse, the number of salmon in those streams is declining because there is no legal limit on fishing at the moment. All these influences have a negative impact on the spirit bear's very existence, which is made all the more fragile by the fact that reproduction among these bears has always been disappointingly low. And so, so as you can see, it said build the road instead of construction and instead of uh, restricted, it said unlimited, it means there's no limit on fishing. And then it says low fertility rate, low fertility rate means that uh, low reduction, reproduction, I mean, sorry, reproduction. It means that they don't uh, bear uh, child children as often they, as they need offsprings, I mean offsprings for themselves, that's a problem for them. So, and uh, now I'm going to listen to going forward part and I'll try to show you how to do it with, uh, with some easy ways as always. Alright, now I'm playing the video. What's the situation going forward? Community organizations, environmental groups and the British Columbia government are now working together on the problem. The government is now requiring logging companies to adopt a better logging method, which is a positive step. However, these measures alone may not be sufficient to ensure a healthy population of the spirit bear in the future. Other steps also need to be taken. While it is important to maintain the spirit bear's habitat, there also needs to be more emphasis on its expansion. The move is justified as it will also create space for other bears. As you can see, it's not that hard that they said better, but here it says uh, improve, so to change it and uh, more emphasize in expansion as well. Now, I, as you can see, I found all the answers correct because that without doubt we can check it later on. And I pause the video for you for to check it, but I don't think there is a need for this. And uh, yeah, I'll I'll try to show you with another example as well. After that, we will check and we'll get back to this as well. All right, here it starts from 34 because other ones was with multiple choice, so I printed out this one only. It has from 34, 34 to 40. Now, now I'll play the video and uh, try to show you how to do it with it. All right, so right here we have an example. So, let's look at some of its possible uses. All right, so nanotechnology, use of Faster nanotechnology. nanotechnology. All right. There could be a major breakthrough in the field of transportation. Right, let's talk about this part. the production of more durable metals. These could be virtually unbreakable, lighter, and much more pliable leading to planes that are 50 times lighter than at present. All right, metal. Those same improved capabilities metal. will dramatically reduce the cost of traveling into space, Travel, making it more accessible to ordinary space. and opening up a totally new holiday space. destination. All right. In terms of so as you can see, as I played the video, it was really fast, but it said in the beginning it's durable and stronger metal, so I, I made it exactly for immediately metal, and then it moved to this part. In this case, I moved to here because I, I found out that it was talking too fast. So travel will be made available to the mass. It means like a great number of people can travel to space. So uh, when it says to travel, I only cut the word one called space. So that I wrote the space. I don't know if it's true or not. But I'll, sure, I'll make sure at the end to check it. So now we have to from here and we have to focus too hard. Otherwise, we will be about to lose focus, right? Technology. The computer industry will be able to shrink computer parts down to minute sizes. We need nanotechnology in order to create a new generation of computers that will work even faster and will have a million times more memory, but will be about the size of a sugar cube. Nanotechnology could also revolutionize the way that we generate power. The cost of solar cells will be drastically reduced 
So harnessing this. All right, it's talking about sun, so it says solar energy, solar harnessing, and uh, I made here our solar. In this case, we, have, we he, this the girl said that a million times, so instead of greater, so I made memory right here, marked as memory. Now I'll play, I keep playing the video, and I believe it talks about the environment part, then health and medicine. Energy will be far more economical than at present. But nanotechnology has much wider applications than this and could have an enormous impact on our environment. For instance, tiny airborne nanorobots could be programmed to actually rebuild the ozone layer, which could lessen the impact of global warming on our planet. That's a pretty amazing thought, isn't it? On a more local scale, this new technology could help with the cleanup of environmental disasters as nanotechnology will allow us to remove oil and other contaminants from the water far more effectively. Okay, well, yeah. And if nanotechnology progresses as expected, as a sort of building block set of about 90 atoms, then you could build anything you wanted from the bottom up. In terms of production, this means that you only use what you need. And so, there wouldn't be any waste. The notion that you could create anything at all... So as you can see here, it's given passive, but it, with, it did with an active, it could, it, uh, she said that it could remove, instead of here, we given could be removed, and here no, it said any waste, but here, I cannot write any because it says only one word, pay huge attention to this as well, now it's, most of the last listening is going to be one word now, it's going to Difficult, and difficult. All right, and now only 40 left. Now I'll try to pay attention to find this one. Bull has major implications for our health. It means that we'll eventually be able to replicate anything. This would have a phenomenal effect on our society. In time, it could even lead to the eradication of famine through the introduction of machines that produce food to feed the hungry. But it's in the area of medicine that nanotechnology may have its biggest impact. How we detect disease will change as tiny biosensors are developed to analyze tests in minutes rather than days. There's even speculation now. So it's saying that to analyze the medical tests, so I marked as a test. I believe I found all answers correct. Now I'll pause the video to check the answers. All the answers are correct. As you can see, I checked now them now. And uh, with even spelling parts. And because they will be very easy if you focusing if you are focusing them and uh, following the instructions. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Please comment anything you like and I'll try to answer as much as possible. Thank you and bye.